In a Fox 23 follow-up, a local veteran's powerful and moving documentary is now finished and is set to premiere next month at a film festival in California. We told you the Owasso High School graduate carved special memorials for the families of each of the Marines and his unit killed in Afghanistan. This film focuses on the pain this veteran and these Gold Star families feel and the healing. You just saw your best friend get shot or get blown up and you're not allowed to grieve. The Make Peace or Die documentary made by a local veteran and his brother. You have to figure out ways to deal with things. Captures his struggles dealing with the loss of 17 Marines in his unit in Afghanistan in 2011. As Anthony Marquez, a bomb dog handler, sits in front of their pictures in his living room talking to me, he says he didn't know at first how much all of their families were struggling too. The whole idea of everything came from in 2016 when my friend's mother attempted suicide. Anthony carved a battlefield cross out of wood in honor of his friend, Lance Corporal Robert Greniger and presented it to the family. That sparked a mission to do that for all 17 Gold Star families and documenting the journey along the way. Our film was very unique in the aspect that it touches a lot on what a Gold Star family deals with because a lot of people don't for one thing, don't know what a Gold Star family is. And then you just see a lot of stuff about veterans, you know, and, and like the veteran struggles and all this, but you don't see a lot about the Gold Star family struggles and they struggle just as much or more than we do. In your documentary, you wondered if you were doing the right thing. Am I opening up old wounds? Am I making their grief worse? Or am I providing some healing? Yeah. Now that you've met all 17 families and gave them the battle cross, what do you think you did? I mean, I think it's a combination of both. I could see in Anthony had this survivor's guilt um, that he was uh, grappling with. Manny Marquez, Anthony's brother, is a professional filmmaker and directed the documentary. He says Anthony was a reluctant hero who didn't want to be part of the story, but telling these stories helped him as much as those families. I saw him healing and the way he dealt with the families and the way he dealt with Marines. We, we met 23 Marines on the road, 17 Gold Star families. We traveled 34 states, 12,000 miles, like over the course of 40 days. Um, you can, there's a tangible sigh of relief and healing when you, there's a lot of tears, but there's a lot of growth. And I think in the course of the movie, um, Anthony making the movie, Anthony realized that he um, had a purpose and there was a reason he returned home and it was to unite these families. While visiting all 17 Gold Star families, Anthony collected different pieces of the Marine Corps dress blue uniform from each family. It's now been given to the National Museum of the Marine Corps and he hopes it will be on display one day. Another purpose beyond that is for the rest of us to realize the sacrifices our military and their families are willing to make, something his battalion commander implied we all take for granted while speaking at the service for Greniger. And I held the flag, and at the time, our battalion commander, he was Lieutenant Colonel Savage, got up there and he said, he, he died for millions of Americans who will never know his name. And... Um, my goal and hope is that at least a million Americans know all 17 of their names and their families. The title, Make Peace or Die, is symbolic. It's not only how the battalion faced their enemy, but it's a message that resonates with Gold Star families, having to make peace with their loss so that it doesn't kill them. The documentary is premiering next month at the GI Film Festival in San Diego. It's already up for two awards. We'll let you know how they do.